Sometimes in life, you only get one shot. When an opportunity comes, you have to grab it. Make it or miss it, you still have to be prepared. Don't let your location destroy your determination. Take the shot. a lot around the world and I've seen a lot of things but one of the main things I've seen is that people outside of the UK have no idea about what it's really like inside the UK so I wanted to challenge people I wanted to get into the minds of people I wanted to break stereotypes and I wanted to go into the not so publicized areas and get into the, the minds and the grit of what people actually think the UK is like and I wanted to study four key areas work, education, family and relationships, and the streets. So I traveled around, spoke to many different people, athletes, musicians, actors, dancers, entrepreneurs, poets, DJs, and really just asked them their perception and how they see things here in the UK. Don't give up on each other and just try, try your hardest, you know? Come out of your comfort zone and pushing yourself to make things work. To me, one of the great and most simple revelations was realising that now is the only time I have. Right now. If you think you've got an idea or a good understanding about a subject, but then you can't really explain it, then you don't really understand it well. If you want to make it in this economy, you have to put in the work yourself because even going through the phases of you know school college university that's not guaranteed to get you anywhere or to get you a great job i think you can be educated and you can have vision and then you can have wisdom knowledge and understanding and you will have an explosive end product if there's something you want to do get the blueprint man write it up find an easy way of doing it and you'll get there you'll definitely get there man live your dream <laughs> live your dream Find something you like, it's really not that hard. A lot of young people say, oh, there's no opportunities out there for me. But let me tell you, there is so much. You just, you just got to go out there and find it yourself. The reality is, is that if you have the drive and if you have the um, desire to create a life that you want, you can actually just go out and do it. If you don't dream big, you will not get anything. You have to dream and to work on those dreams and to have commitment towards those dreams to make them work. Never look back. You can't always expect for someone else to give you what should be internal. And most of the time, you know, the parents will tell you or someone will tell you, really, is that what you're going to do? How about, how, about, how about your future? How about having a family? Mm. How about having yeah. kids? Are you really going to go and try and be an actor? I'm a strong believer of doing what you love. Do you know what I mean? There's no point doing something if you don't enjoy doing it and I'm pretty sure there's a high percentage of people that don't even like their jobs I'm pretty I'm, I don't know people on the trains in the morning just miserable with their newspaper or their iPods or whatever just miserable sometimes we're often blinded by the things that we see on TV we think that this is what a country is really like or we think that you know this is fame this is success but I really want to show you guys what it is that's real true success in certain communities in all, a lot of communities, to be honest, they keep money circulating within themselves. You see all this stuff in TV, you see all this glamour, you see all this stuff, this just doesn't, you know, doesn't happen to everyone. There's people that worked hard for this. And in my advice would be, you know, continue with your education. Even if you can't get a job, you know, you learn from everything that you do around you. Yeah, I kind of taught myself how to do a lot of the things that I do now. It wasn't nothing that I do now I learned in school. None of it. Imagine that. It's easier to get a degree, so a lot of people are getting their degrees, getting their qualifications, and so the jobs are running out quicker. We are so driven by finish school, go straight to college, do A-levels, go to uni, get a degree, 
get a job. It doesn't always work that way. A lot of kids are suffering because they're not giving the right seeds for learning. It doesn't matter if they give you education if they don't tell you how to use it. There's too many broken people in relationships and broken people having relationships create broken homes. These are some of these kids the way they talk to their teacher. The way they speak. I mean, they're cursing, at, they're cursing at them and then they're running home and cursing at their mom. I mean, and, and, and it's okay. You got kids that have to choose between washing with this water or drinking with this water. That is hard. You got people who have life and death choices they have to make every day and you can't decide what clothes the way to go college? It's really difficult to like be yourself when you're young, when everything else around you is negative, everything else that influences you is negative. You haven't got something to do. You're going to be on the road to the rest of the kids that ain't got something to do. They all link up. There's so many of them and that's why London is where it is. But kids don't have anything to do. That kid goes, goes to the park and sitting on that swing and there's a kid next, next to them with his dad and his dad swinging him. Like, and that's when the kid's going to be like, like, I want that. People go into a relationship now thinking, oh, what do I want from it? It's like me, 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 me. I think there should be a rule that states, you know, at the start of a relationship, the guy should ask the woman, what do you want from this? Or what do you want from me? And then the woman should ask, what do you want from me? Or what do I want from this? And then make that clear from the get-go and then you just take it from there. A lot of what you learn is from your parents, not all of it, but I think I've learned a lot from my parents and I'll probably carry that on when I have kids. And that's what kids love, they want to see their parents together, like being a family, like they can't get a better connection when everyone is at home sitting around the table having dinner. I think there needs to be more role models. Fortunately for me, I'm one of them people who I've kind of taken it upon myself to be a role model. There are lots of people who who like the benefits of relationship but don't want to have the responsibility of a relationship. People get married and I think still in some way have this idea of this fairy tale fantasy of what a marriage is supposed to be like. And when they've when they're faced with the, 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 reality. the reality of what it really is and the struggle that comes with mm. marriage, they give up. A guy will get with a girl with the sole purpose of having sex with her. But that's all he's thinking into it. He's not thinking about the role he's going to play in her life. He's not thinking about he's going to have to meet her friends, her family, get to know her. He's not thinking about any of these things. You know I mean, he's not comprehending, will you be a pillar in her life. Without unity, can we really progress? Without unity, can we really take our talents to the next level? Without unity, can we really create a bright future for the young people? It's time to break the cycle. I guess it's not so United Kingdom, really.